Millions of dollars are now headed to schools across the state. Governor Evers made that announcement today while in Chilton. Local 5's Barrett Tryon was there, and he's got more on where the governor wants that money to go. Our schools and our students have faced unprecedented challenges. They're governor Evers announcing $110 million is headed to schools across the state. He made that announcement while at Chilton Middle School. The district will get more than $140,000 from it. The additional funding that we're going to be receiving is invaluable to putting towards meeting those diverse needs. Besides stopping here in Chilton, the governor also stopping in Milwaukee, Stevens Point, and La Crosse. The state superintendent says schools are struggling. They need relief. We need to answer that call. And we're in the middle of a pandemic that brings with it additional costs on top of regular operating expenses. That money equates to nearly $134 per student. Schools have the choice to use that money how they want. This more than $140,000 will be used to support kids both in and out of the classroom, allowing schools hire additional educators if they want, keep the lights on, provide additional educational or mental health supports. By art supplies, whatever they need. Chilton School says they plan to use the money to adapt to COVID's challenges. Continuing to use innovative teaching methods and the technologies, and um, what we've learned through the pandemic is the power of virtual learning. We still believe the best place for our kids is in the classroom in front of our teachers, but virtual learning has become a reality for us. In Chilton, Barrett Tryon, Local 5 News. Thanks, Barrett. That money is all federal COVID-19 relief money and is a one-time payment only.